But the oh my god, all three AT guns are free. like, all right, the building comes down. Take yeah, it down. the building is gone. Go home, building. Hey guys, before the main video starts, if you want to support the channel, again, like, subscribe, or become a channel member. Every little bit helps, and I greatly appreciate everyone who watches this video. Enjoy. Live in game number one of the second round between Cossack and Latouf. We have Latouf. I think he's French Canadian, but I'm not 100% sure. I know he's Canadian, but I think he's French. Whatever. As USF going Pathfinders with tier one, so with barracks. What is our dear Cossack or our hero from Denmark doing? Uh, the hero from Denmark is going with pioneers, two pioneers to be exact, and pumping out a grenadier. Yet to pick a battle group, but suffice to say, he has plenty of time. Uh, I forget which battle. Again, we covered his uh, Cossack's first set of games. I forget what battle group he went. I think it was. Mechanized? I think he yes. chose that. Maybe so that. It, so, in this situation, we know it because of the rules, he can't pick that, correct? He can't pick it again because it, oh, okay. it resets after each set. Ah, okay. So, context every single then uh, set of games, you're only allowed to be one battle group per match in that set. So, whatever they pick, so for example, Latouf, he can only go airborne this set of games uh, for the, exactly. in this game. Okay. So, Ansaldo Ganova. I think some people will recognize this map. Because it's a remake of a Co 1 map. Ah, that's why I uh, don't recognize it. I do. It's Stutzdorf. I think uh, it was called. But yeah, it's well, a remake of a Co 1 map that we did not see in Co 2. It. It's Is still slightly different. Yeah. For example, we have less buildings in the middle. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I'm getting Montargis region vibes with Co2, and that's not vibes I want. So this is very different map. than Sturz. But I know it's a remake of a Co1 map that obviously yeah. got reworked a couple of times, which does not capture the Co1 map entirely. But for example, I think the whole left side is the same as in Co1. Nice. I, I do like the swampy area. I do like that. The swamp area like. is something, yeah. It, it, it's different. I don't know. I, I like I like I like my swamp. I like my mud. I like all those uh, different terrains because they provide One much different uh, color palettes and textures and everything that you normally see in you know the urban sectors. But I like the map. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's an urban map, an urban Italian style map. We, something we don't see that often. Very true. Oh, so it's amazing to see that. Out. Yeah. Uh, what we're seeing as well is tr three grenadiers versus two riflemen, and two pathfinders so far. There was already a press engagement. The pathfinder took some beating there, but did not lose a model. Son of a bitch. That's good. Is he gonna be able to heal? No. Yeah. Mm, not yet. <laughs> he goes back. Am I gonna get a heal, sir? No. Back. Get back out there. We haven't invented healing yet. Rifleman is gonna push back the Grandier. They're gonna try to make a break for that building. Grandiers do get inside. Okay. Has four windows? Five windows? No. Oh, it has enough windows for our models to fire. Rifleman are ready. They should, they should be fine in the train station. It's on, boys. I right. like this map visually. No, it's so different. far all it's... maps look good, I would say. I agree. Now. I I, I, I... Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially the industrial side, uh, side of things I like a lot. So... But that's the always plays out first. Gameplay obviously beats everything else. Yeah, gameplay-wise, uh, it's again dead even. Three riflemen, three grenadiers. And riflemen do have a slight advantage, as we've seen. But grenadiers just got their vet one upgrade, which helps them a little. Yeah, especially since they get no heal. Yeah. And ve overall, veteran three one is really really strong for Wehrmacht. 
which will help oh, Reffin Man has a tough retreat path there. But be fine, but he loses a lot of HP at the model there. Yeah, he'll uh, down the three models, he'll often run back and get some heals. Uh, overall, though, I will say, uh, uh, Kalsak doing not bad job, at least victory point wise, points per turn on the uh, Latouf. But now with the victory point in mid being taken over by the Americans as well as the fuel, we're going to see that swing back in uh, Latouf's favor. Yeah. All right. Also, Kazakh is controlling the cutoff for the bottom side, so even though Latouf is capping the 10 point, never mind. He's getting decapped. Oh Fucking my god. Colors. Yeah, I will say Latouf has a ton of frontline infantry. Two Pathfinders now, four riflemen, and a captain? Uh, Kausak needs to do something quick in order to turn the. Uh, turn the tide because very quickly he's going to find out that the americans are everywhere and they are packing yeah especially on the map where the cutoffs so, are so exposed yeah you can get easily locked down and i like how latouf actually focused the five pointer on the right next to the base from Cossack. not because he wants to get the resources because it's cut off obviously but he denies the resources and look Cossack has no free f the base income free fuel per minute yeah, he's saving up manpower for something. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, he has the uh, free coming up, so I assume we'll see Panzer Grenadiers. But whatever it is, he is, he's uh, in a 1v1 game where every second matters. He is saving up 650 manpower. Yeah, here we go. Panzer Grenadiers the queue. I wouldn't say he overall traded bad. It's just the sheer superiority of numbers that Latouf gave the capping advantage. Because yeah. look, he had, does not have much fuel income. He has the standard 23 fuel per minute. Even though Kazakh has zero fuel income. <laughs> well, he'll get at least 10 more. Oh, no, he's not just going to get 10 more. He's going to get 20 more fuel We've if he gets both sector. fuel points in that industrial area. Yeah, but I don't think he will get the one point connected. Both points connected before they get decapped in time. Shall see. Uh, oh yeah, because the five. The you're right. You're right. M1918 automatic rifle oh wait. Will be uh, imminently. Grenadiers going in for the ten fuel in the, uh, I guess, in the swamp. The enemy see. has taken territory from us. We got raid package. Panzer Grenadiers on the field. We got a pack gun. I guess yeah. Kalsak's like, that man has so much fuel, probably. Greyhound can't be too far. But no, we're actually seeing bars for all the riflemen. Not a rush for early armor. By the way, Alpan, don't forget to write your uh, map feedback. I don't know if you already did it. I'm just uh, throwing it randomly into the game, uh, into the void. Barca, by the way, already out. All right, and uh, a solid play, unless I'm mistaken, all the fuel in the industry just got cut off. So. And we see more riflemen. Now under enemy control. <laughs> oh my god. He, is that is that the goal? Latouf is like, you know what? I heard the Soviets just use pure infantry to stop the Germans. Why don't we do it as the Americans? We're losing a territory That's a lot of infantry. It can backfire, but since Cossack has so little fuel and gum, there won't yeah. be an Adrat in time. Well, anytime I, soon. He has to, I, I assume that his next upgrade will not be fuel or no, sorry, not Report be a building upgrade. He's gonna go for advanced point. logistics. Yeah, I assume he has to. to. He has to, he has to. Sector lost. No contact. This many So many riflemen. Five there are so many of them. A victory point is under enemy control now. This is legitimately like dealing with the Soviets. Just waves of infantry coming at you. Except these men have bars. Yeah. Commander, we've lost oh, the glory. Grenadiers trying to now, hide in the kind of recovered fuel-wise. But Pathfinder again denying the five-pointer on top. More parts of Grenadiers the other way. Cossack tries to equalize the field infantry-wise. Uh, 
uh, captain, low friendly fire on the rifleman. Launching artillery, bringing the rifleman down about 10% health. Nice. Panzer Grindy out, Edward next. Okay. Wait, is that another mine? No. Rifleman got delayed because of mine hit. Uh, small counterattack. Trying to get that fuel back. Pathfinders keep sniping. We'll be over the target area soon. Down to 300 points, Edward is out now. Okay. We know the Americans. Oh, the Americans don't have snares. Yeah, the Edward. Yeah, but I don't think Cossack will be overly aggressive because he accept, expects snares. Yeah. We have an AT gun being dropped in. But it's in the base, so it'll take a while to get to the front. That gives the 8 red. Again, that small window where it can definitely do damage during the tide. Still no snares. Force off the rifle. Oh, the rifle hits another mine. Come that on, might be a dead rifle. That, that 8 red needs to wipe that squad. He might or, get away though. Lost the territory sector. Yeah. He, oh, great here going in. Great here jumps. Nope. No. Oh, oh wow. Oh, if you try, if you try your best, I don't succeed. <laughs> oh, but the amazing point. retreat Nate there from the Panzer Grenadier. All right. Enemy movement near victory point. To be fair, uh. Even if he's not killing them, so long as he's weakening them to such a low point, the reinforcement on every one of those squads, especially the more he kills, is gonna keep the tooth back for a little longer. Yeah, but so you already have advanced logistics in. It's like 19 per model. It's not really expensive. And keep in mind, he gets three reinforcement from medical. Oh, Captain Dan bites the dust. Alright. He was, he was not carried away from the battlefield. <laughs> this is bad. All victory points are under enemy control. All right, now we're getting munition surplus. Okay. So here comes the rifleman pushing on in. The whole blob. Eight reds gonna do what it can. AT gun still not in position. It's still pretty far back. Yeah. It might be awkward to use AT guns on this map because of the angles of the buildings. Time to dust off. What yeah. And look how the map control suddenly swinged into the favor of Cossack. Yeah, you can have more men, but it's how you use them. Right now, Cossack is doing a very good job. Bingo fuel here. Heading back to also, Cossack destroying the one garrison. Keep in mind, AT guns do actually a lot of damage against garrisons, so. Shooting them make, is worth it, no? Those Grenadier is playing defensive against. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he just. Maybe he pulled back because that position he was Double nade. Uh, but yeah, Grenadiers are holding pretty well behind that, uh, that cover. Yeah, but no, he has to go home against Pooh onto them. But the pack guns at position. I have my putting pressure. Edward, though, saves today. <gasps> Wait! Pants Grenadiers coming in on the back. Oh, double Panzer Grenadiers with Grenadier support. He might get the wipe there. If he focuses it, he does not focus it. But the other one is dead. An amazing retreat Ooh. made there. We've lost a squad of riflemen at the front. Territory point is no longer under our control. Uh, second squad down, potentially? Double eight rod second squad might go down as well. Nope. Barely makes it. Enemy movement near I cannot point. believe this. Kyle Sack managing to turn the tide of this game. I did not expect this. I expected oh, double bar drop by the way. One was picked up by the grenadier and the other one from the rifleman. So, uh, uh, bar, uh, all right. So, Nate, you know, lend leasing the Germans. Good, good stuff. Yeah, donation services are always welcomed. AT gun is moving up. Where's the. Oh, okay. Oh, one edge right further back. No, we'll get away. 
Oh, 8 red having some pathfinding issues. But gets away. The train is not blocking it enough. Yeah. That tooth is just. Get me more riflemen. More. 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 Uh, but yeah, uh. Again, uh, I feel like Kalsak now has the men, the equipment to keep the riflemen back. You can't. You, Latouf cannot just keep doing this play style unless he does something different. And I'm not seeing anything majorly different here. No. Because I got a lot of resources, I wouldn't be surprised if he's thinking about taking up and getting a Broomba. Yeah. A Red does take a lot of hits, pulls back. Yeah, Kozak has tier 1 and tier 3 up. And that too far is Erex up and advanced logistics. While you're checking it out, Parfinder has just died in the swamp. Just went head first right in. Uh, Rifemen are take the VP and they're up behind some solid cover, but Panzergrenadiers are holding firm. They're actually using automatic fire behind there. Just hold back all the riflemen. Yeah. But I don't think much is happening there. I think the engagement is long range and both shooting at Jiva but not hitting. Yeah, true. But uh, the big thing is it's just stopping the riflemen from advancing on him and overwhelming Yeah, him. that's true. And right now, the more he delays, the better off he is. Thinks he can 46 and 33 fuel and munitions per turn. AT, these AT guns, I, I feel so bad. They've just not been able to really put the pressure on those eight reds. Yeah, it's not looking too peachy. Alright, now here comes the counterattack. The Germans now have way more equipment. There's actually, they're airdropping an AT gun right in front of the Grenadiers. How, how kind. Double P are pushing in. Nothing is really holding them. Nice nate though. AT gun is out of position. Yeah, that's it. That's AT gun. It just dropped in the swamp. Uh, one AT gun said... will go down. Two AT guns free. are dead. Maybe the third one as well. Yeah, yep. I got two fists. Toast. And it's one, two, three AT guns are out. In the old code game. Eight red is slowly making its way back. Uh, can it escape? I've been trying to put down at least one of them. He's sprinting. Dice. Nice nade on the AT gun. That's There's a dead the Panzer grenade. Yeah. No! Eight red survives! Hey, oh, did he misclick? He stopped. <laughs> he just gave up. Alright. Yeah, but look how much resources Lotuf lost. Uh, yeah. He is no longer the infantry guy. He is, uh... I think Kazakh is, uh, went for the pentacolin instead of the buildable thing. Normally that's the smarter choice, but with such a big resource lead you can take up. Get to yeah. boom and break everything. I mean, yeah. But at this point, I mean... Latouf just doesn't have like he has Our no building upgrades. Down to 250 points now. He's just He We're doesn't have the motor pole or anything. Sector. It's it. He just has to rely on riflemen and that's just not good enough. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know what Latouf can do though. He has a lot of riflemen, but they are... I don't want to say they are useless, but they kind of <laughs> are. Panthers, oh, Rif Panthers won't offer anything, they are no tanks for it to fight. But still. A bundle on the rifleman block. Nice bundle. That might be a dead rifleman here, yeah, and the bar drop. Panther might get inbound. picked by the ro rocket run. Nope. It's close. He's down to a quarter health, but he has nothing to follow up with. Yeah, there's no follow up. 
Besides a little bit of pathing issues, but that's fine. Now it looks like it. And uh, he did the, the the panther did twirl just to <laughs> just, just to mock the two. It's like Braveheart, where they li they lift the skirts of the enemy. That that that's essentially what that panther was doing. <laughs> Amazing movie. Yeah. Oh. All right. Again, victory point wise, it's closer than you would imagine, but it's still unfortunately Latouf's uh, area where he needs to come back in. He's, he's down about 50 points. That's it. Point Let's go. Mechanized assault has been unlocked. So he can yeah. do Me. the broken all ins. That automated fire by those Prince Gradiers in solid cover, man, it's just tearing apart those riflemen. Yeah, automatic fire is really, 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 really good. Those Panzer Gradiers have 30 kills. Yeah, they're manhandling the riflemen. Remember, guys, Panzer Gradiers, not very good. They're, they're not very good. I, I had some people tell me they're like, they yeah, no, that you shouldn't get them. And I'm just looking, I'm like, okay, no, you should. <laughs> they're really good. Grasshopper recon on station. The enemy holds all the We're lower the target. Stand by. Where did you want okay. a rocket or two? I will give credit to Latouf. He is holding a decent amount of his resources in the back. And uh, he is grabbing the victory point, so he can stop the, the hemorrhaging. IP ahead of us, get in formation! And we give another I don't even know if you can call that uh, tier 3 skip what Latouf is doing. Because he never had the resources for tier 4 instead. If, if he went tier 4 F3, uh, he would have never enough resources to get out an April, uh, Sheffy or something like that. And a Chappy versus a Panther? Do you really think that's worth it? Greyhound? No, you just keep pumping out AT guns. If he's gonna upgrade, he's better upgrade to the, the final phase. Oh my god. The rifleman just can't stand up to the German blob. Wait, there's a snare. AT gun getting in position, but they are caught out of position. And let's have caught the GG. Alright. Yeah, the Gooseman is showing. I'm telling you, if the Gooseman had more time, or if he would be more interested in investing time into Call 3, he would be easily top 3. Game number 2 between uh, Kozak and Latouf. We are on, again on, on Salzo Ganova. Uh, Genova, I think. All right, you always and, wear uh... mods. <laughs> Congrats, Elpern. You always were. Uh, <laughs> this time we're seeing, uh, I would say something different, but kind of. We're seeing engineers and scouts. Not, not an early game I, I think we've seen so far for the American. End of rifle. Yeah, that's. We not... saw that often. We didn't. We saw we seen scout, an engineer? Right? Oh, maybe we yeah, have. Yeah, we just... saw that. We also right. see Latouf doing the reverse with the captain to avoid sound. That's also fair. You know what? It's my dementia kicking in. Sorry about that. Just... Alright, anyway. Uh, hopefully I get some memory back. But I do know <laughs> that we definitely saw Latouf uh, lose the last game. So right now it's one up for uh, for Kalsak. We'll see how well he does as the Americans. Meanwhile, no battle groups have been chosen just yet. But as a repeat notion, they can't repeat themselves. Though again, we did switch factions. So. Yeah, I think he's committing more towards the bottom side. Like all his units so far, he's completely ignoring the right hand side. And Latouf, meanwhile, is more committing his combat units to the right hand side. So let's see how this plays out. All right. Yeah. And again, I. Uh, 
like you mentioned, very urban map, very much a map with lots of like sight blockers and things, which makes at least from the last game, AT guns a little bit harder to get like clear shots and line of sight on target. Um, we'll see if that comes to play, but right now, uh, we saw last game again. A lot of troops with bars just having a real rough time as well, uh, versing Panzer Grenadiers, more close range troops. Maybe that's why he went with Assault Grenadiers, is to continue with close range weapons. We'll see if we get a bunch of AP-40s, or maybe something else. I don't know, but Latufus will do will will surprise us for sure. By the way, Latufus Canadian. I assume he's French Canadian, but I don't know that for sure. But I know he's from Canada. And the time where I heard him talking on Helping Hunt's stream, he sounded French Canadian. I'm glad we were able to solve that. <laughs> <laughs> Paul says so. Okay. All right. Cossack right. is controlling the whole left hand side and has slight control over the middle VP and the five pointer. Yeah, he's holding that. But right now, both of the major fuels, the uh, call sack, Latouf also losing in the munition game. Uh, let's see. But, no, I was going to say he was at least grabbing near the victory point. Nope, he, uh, the rifleman stopped that Grandier from leaving that building. Territory sector lost. See. Three riflemen. Oh, the MP40 pop in the middle. Come on. Uh, Cossack reacted there. I told you, I told you he would get MP40s. Get out. Complete guess. <laughs> well, uh, if you see breakthrough, I would say there's a 75 to 90 percent chance to see MP40s. Our yeah. is if I'm right, uh, I'm a genius, and I, every everything I say is true. If if I'm wrong, uh, it, it's all because uh, it's bad they luck. Are, it's bad luck. Yeah. We have it's, finished the you know. research. <laughs> how it goes how it goes uh but no no it makes sense this map is again very urban close range is probably a, a, a big bonus if you can get it but that's not counting the americans out yet they still got plenty of units potentially they can bring out to help turn the tide in that in that yeah. area but riflemen and engineers are doing their best to hold mid against the grand ear and the uh, both Grenadiers grand ears. have been mustered for battle almost to pick on the engineer but it does escape Here we go, I see us on the way, and Latouf has a fourth Grenadier. Second MP40 is on the way, and they will pop right into the face of the rifleman, but Kozak anticipates that and retreats. Yep. There, there, there we go. And again, it looks like actually a lot of the forces are heading toward the scout unit, which is valiantly holding the fuel, but alas, the Kettencrad is cutting off the resources so no fuel no munitions from the industrial area and that's a lot we're talking 20 fuel and 32 munitions not going to Kalsak anymore yeah it feels really uh, punishing to lose the high industrial area because all the or like all the big reasons are, are there so not sure if i like that that much but let's see how this plays out but so far yeah. i like the map though no, and I like there is a, at least it's something different compared to a lot of other maps where it is like this high risk, high reward area. So, in terms of well, this is hold it or you have nothing area. Yeah, it's all or nothing more so, I guess. Got you know trying to get out of there. Looks like it should be fine. Yeah. Um. We have more riflemen. We have four squads of riflemen and a captain now. So, okay, he... Wait, yeah, he's going with the uh, infantry one, uh, the infantry support center. But... Are we seeing a motor pull? No, he stopped the motor pull. Okay. No, no, he's rebuilding. He's rebuilding the motor pull. Okay. Maybe he wants to have it in a different position. Yeah. Enemy 
forces have captured a victory point. All right, right, oh, yeah, pushing on it. Yeah, MP4 is going home. Maybe you should have waited till the full cap. Yeah. Probably could have survived that. Because now the rifleman can push up. Well, no, another Grenadier comes in. No decap, or at least quickly decap for him. More riflemen are hanging south. They, and it makes sense. Kalsak is like, I have to cut that area off. I cannot let this man get that much fuel. Yeah, Grenadier is going home. He will be able to cut him off. Katniss is a plague, though. Katniss is just running around, capping, and Kazi can't really keep up with that at, at the moment. Can I ask you an honest question? Have Always. you ever seen a Kettencrad get the communication ca cables at this point? We saw that actually last, not last game, but last set he had that. He, uh, we, oh my god, I missed that, because I almost yes, never... That. You oh, don't wow. see it that often anymore. Yeah. I get why they took away the resource bump, but it's... It's nice to have a unit just running by the lines decapping, but I... It, I don't know. I feel like it needs... Something else to make it more appealing. It's a weird upgrade. It's either insanely broken, and you see it every game. Yeah. Or you don't see it any game. We have been cut off. It, yeah. it does feel like there's, at the moment, nothing in between. Yeah, uh, so I, uh, Greyhound is out? scouting. Yeah, sure. Victory All point right. lost. Well, yeah, we got action. The Americans getting armor this game. Shocking. Surprising. Alpom is pointing out something interesting. Maybe vi uh, make the scouting requires the upgrade or being able to lay mine, something like that. That's an interesting see. thing. I can see that. But in the meantime, Hakon did what he need to force the Greyhound to reconsider and uh, pull back a little bit. I Using that great sprint ability, Great Ears rush into that building to hold the line a little longer. A oh, we done. Got the connector shot. I thought it did not have vision there. Greyhound is a little bit. Don't know what to do. It's no running. The enemy He's gonna has pull back. Hands of Great Ears, though, are, are joining the fight. And while they don't have AT, they do have tenacity, and they're a lot of firepower thrown against the Americans, which is good. Right now, it looks like the uh, Latouf is owning the center area of this map. Yeah, overall, a decent map control so far from him. Kazakh struggled to get on the map, even with the Greyhound. He does not have a repair squad out yet. we we'll change in a couple of seconds, but still. Listen, who needs repairs? You're one shot away from death. You're risking if you're it micro, all. If you micro perfectly, no problem. Well, well, we're watching a bottle grenade, unfortunately. Ah, uh, not predicted to retreat path. He was close. But he might still get it. I think if he did not throw the nade, he would have gotten it by chasing. Yeah. One VP running into the favor of Kozak. Uh, Latouf, sorry. Rapid production protocols are in effect. Territory lost. And second, right no. Now. Second AT gun on the way from Latouf. What's interesting is Kalsak has yet to pick a battle group. I guess maybe he doesn't want to waste a battle group potentially. Uh, yeah, that's also like... a possibility. Just don't pick something. But I, I think you will pick one. It will be either Armored or Spec Ops. Yeah. Because Airborne is kind of... You can still do it for the bombing run, right? Yeah. I mean, who doesn't like a solid bombing run? But in this map, I whole maybe, armies. Yeah, maybe not armored because maybe this is too urban for a big armored thrust. 76 could be good, but I mean, so I'm my guess is special operations he's gonna choose. That's my guess. That will probably yeah get the picked off. The nuisance is finally gone. Rayon doing a good job, and looks like uh, Kalsak oh. is. Rushing on in to, to take the industry, but Tooth is again hitting a swamp and holding the center portion of the map. 
No change with bars. I don't see any upgrades in the future for, for the moment. No. The it has two resources for it, so it's interesting what he's planning. Supply. He has four, nearly 400 men. Here we go, bars have been picked. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah, and just in case, Latouf does have double pack, so he's ready for any sort of armor. Um, uh, bigger than Greyhound, I should say. Well, even against the Greyhound. Does he have logistics? He does not. That's a fair point, chat. Well, oh, Greyhound has nothing issues, but should be fine with... Oh, there's the bars. Meanwhile, we have the Panzer... Oh, nice bundle! Pilot. Oh! Down. No survivors. Damn. Well, in a Oh boy, that's uh, that's a major loss. It's like, guys, we got bars. Ex they all die. <laughs> it does hurt. Sector lost. Cause I, but to be fair enough, I think this vibe was not preventable. Yeah. But Let's yeah. See. New rifleman is on the field, <laughs> and once logistics is coming in. As as they deploy onto the field, he gets advanced logistics after that loss. He's like, you know what? Maybe maybe I need that. Oh maybe boy. I need the one unit to rule them all. The one you did to break your spirit as a USF player. Those trooping are on the way. Really? God damn it, a captain's been killed. I mean, I, I guess, Strip Trooping are... T oh, also because it's urban. Okay, that yeah. Because in 4v4, you don't see a ton of these guys. Especially because the more wide open maps, they can be picked apart pretty quick, but... Okay. They yeah. are amazing. Yeah, in 1v1 Holy in an urban environment against riflemen, which we've already seen have a real tough time versus Grandiers and Panzer Grandiers in this environment. Yeah, these guys are going to rock. If you merge them with Grenadiers, you can stay on the field forever and you can like hold of multiple rifles on your own. Yeah. Oh, Grey hit the mine. mine. Overall, it's not looking too dicey for Cossack. No, it's not. But he does have some things going for him. Uh. Uh. He. You know, what, give me a few minutes. I'll let me think about that. No, he does. Okay, I'm not. Wait, no, no. Legitimately, he does. He has seven command points, and he has yet to choose anything. He, uh, theoretically, he could try to, like, rush something. The enemy is winning um, fight. if he wanted to, I mean, let's see, one, two, yeah, he'd need a few more points to rush for, like, an easy combat group or something. No, yeah, no. twice the amount. Yeah. Enemy movement near victory point. Like, thinking maybe that. I think that might be actually the play. I don't think he will take up anytime soon. You, you know what he could get? Just run, uh, go for the whiz bang. At this point. Whiz bang is amazing. Yeah. He, uh, especially because you can get rid of the launcher okay, after since you run. So you can theoretically get it. Fire your rockets. Get <laughs> eventually red one. Get rid of it and then you have a Sherman. Yeah. Oh, Strobe Trooper may die here. Oh, never mind. Reinforce it. Good play. Point. We're losing All right. it. holding back some gray deers. Oh, forcing them back. Victory point in mid being taken over. Okay. But now we have a Panzer IV being made. Oh, no. And there's only one AT gun for Kalsak. Yeah, but it's a P4. I'm a P4 hater. So that's fine. Wait, you don't like Panzer 3s or 4s? I like the DAG P4, but not the Wehrmacht one. Really? I actually, I thought, I like the, 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 
Burmach one more, especially with the armored skirts and everything else. I get it's expensive to get those upgrades, but you know, that, that makes it very strong. <laughs> Elvani just uh, rolls his eyes. I'm not even looking at chat. <laughs> I'm just assuming. Nah. Actually, with all the upgrades, the deck before has more HP than the Vermont before with skirts. But there are other issues why I like the P4 not that much. It's like the damage is inconsistent. As a medium that should be able to, like, at least be able to hold the line to some degree, it struggles again against most allied tanks. Like, grants are hard counter to you. If you don't have the Panther, you have literally nothing that can fight grants. Things like that are, for me personally, the problem. And you have, like, this Brombear, which is... Oh, yeah, pure uh, anti-infantry, yeah. Yeah, but it also... It got nerfed, but it can still deal with tanks reasonably well, to some degree. It just feels like the P4 is not worth its money at the moment, for compared to other units you can get, and against the unit matchups you have. Also, I have the feeling that P4 Sketcher is powerable. It has a hard time of hitting infantry. So it's obviously more a personal thing. People might think different. There were games where I got bum rushed by P4s and died. But overall, it's a unit that kind of lacks. Hey, you, again, that's why we have these discussions to bring that stuff up. Because again, it's like, oh, that's good to know. That's interesting. Again, in a lot of 4v4s, you see a lot of groups or mate, like a lot of Panzer IVs. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it becomes a situation where a lot of times you have a lot of players that go with a lot of frontline tanks. That's So I see a lot of Panzer IVs in that capacity. That's why I also see a lot of Panzer IIIs in that capacity. Um, that's why I still like the Panzer III, or I can at least respect it. Because, uh, again, I just see waves of them with my friends on 4v4 matches. Yeah, obviously, because also... Ooh, nice kill with the Panzer Grenadier. Yeah, the scout had no chance. Obviously, like the heavy tanks, Tiger struggles a little bit more on 4v4. I assume because the Hellcats are like having critical mass of tanks to bum rush you is way more important in 4v4 than in 2v2. Because in 2v2, you can get to this point, but it takes a really, really long time. Yeah. We must take it back. We have 300 All right. Orif went up with bars, so he's trying to just go maximum bar. Try to fight the Panzer Grenadiers. Might work against that squad. We might get the wipe there. They're really low HP. Come on. One model. Nope. AC gun is so. out of position. Well, he still has a couple squads that can... Oh, wait. No, there's... Uh, the mine there. saves the day. No, again, ch uh, chat's 100% right, especially holding uh, how much damage, it, how much punishment it takes, and the health. Brumbar is definitely like a more anti infantry focus. So, and again, I, I think it's showcasing itself. That Panzer IV in the match right now only has four kills. I think a Brumbar would have been a better call in this urban environment fighting off the rifleman. Because what, gray the Greyhound? Sure, he... I think he dealt with one. I think he killed one, but... If there was a new one, but this Greyhound is uh, the strongest thing the Americans have. Next to an AT gun to fight off that. Points. Oh, but yeah. uh, uh, Cossack does have three AT guns. Yeah, he he's expecting something. He's a scared man, which I understand. He has 13 man points, and we've yet to see any sort of. Uh, What's it called? Uh, any, any pick for the battle. He might don't pick one. He thinks, like, I, if I lose this game, I have a better doctrine later down the line. And if I win it, it won't be from a doctrine. Ooh, that will hurt. Yeah, he's yet to build the tank depot, so we really... Yeah, he will be stuck on tier 3 till the end of this game. I don't think he can tag up. 
Yeah. He's not just... doing too shit. And he's getting all the infantry upgrades. Eight field per turn is not enough, you're right. Um orders just came in. Enemy in control of all victory Thanks. points. Interesting, hold on. The enemy has lost their foothold. Alright. He... Latouf theoretically could buy a tiger if he wants to. In terms of unlocking it Upgrade with the command complete. points. He doesn't have the resources for it. How much is a could... Wehrmacht tiger? Deck tiger uh... 700 manpower. Yeah, isn't it? Like... Oh god. No, Wehrmacht tiger is cheaper. Chat's saying 800, 180. Then the deck tiger, then Wehrmacht tiger is cheaper than deck tiger. Is it? it is. I was Wait, can we check that? 13. Oh, no. oh, wait, no, 13. Okay, we're talking about so. Uh, we're talking about what? Co 2? Yeah. No, we're talking about. In Co 2, I know. 640 and 230 met fuel. Yeah, that's why, that's why my brain went. 640, 230. I'm like, wait. Because I usually don't go with this tiger, truthfully. We have lost control of a victory point. I still know the resource cuts from Co 2 way better than from Co 3. Yeah. Oh my god, Greyhound opening fire. Uh, trying to cover the rifle and getting the VP. Double AT gun, one. No, it's one AT gun only. Just one. Sector now on the enemy control. But the, oh my god, all three AT guns are like, all right, the building comes down. Take yeah, it down. Yeah, the building is gone. Go home, building. Okay. I don't know, what, like, cause like maybe a second Greyhound. Or oh, that might yeah, be a wipe. You got cheaper it's grenades. Oh, good kill. Cool. One Grenadier's down. Not much, but you know, it's something. Hey, you take it. Enemy yeah. Forces have claimed and again, uh, compared to last game, this game, look at the kills. It's dead even. 100, 100, almost. Yeah, slight advantage. Vehicle kills wise for causing because he killed the captain. Yeah. Kyle's like, we got a good job of keeping this game alive. Even though it's been, he's been on the back foot nearly the entire time. It's, I still, I don't want, I don't understand what this late game plan is. At the moment, he's boxed in. The only thing that Kozak really has going for himself is his, like, map sense, if you want to call it like that. He always has a squad capping on the side. He's not getting narrow-minded, trying to break through the wall. Hold on, with his head. hold on. But the T-Gun's opening fire. Panzer Ooh, that four. Might be a Four. Oh, no. But that's According to Daniel, that's not Sturzdorf, but I think it is. But I might be wrong. Because didn't Sturzdorf has this industrial area, like on this high rise area? Alright. We have a tank depot, ladies and gentlemen. We have the tank depot. He's finally building it. So he feels confident now, but he has no fuel for a tank anytime soon. You're not wrong, but if he gets that 10 fuel, he's up to 28. He theoretically could get himself a, a Hellcat. Although, I, honestly, probably Bulldozer would be the ideal choice. Bulldo yeah, Bulldozer or something like that. I think that too would never ever get out the Tiger. He's bleeding so he much manpower. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He has the fuel, just not the manpower. He needs to, he needs to not fight for a minute, and he'll have the tiger. We have lost control of a victory point. Greyhound man is the hidden MVP of this game. Changed my mind. Yeah, and actually, before does nothing, man. I think infantry killed. <laughs> it probably got veteran C1 for <laughs> getting beaten up by IT guns. I, I just want someone to clip. You know, Panzer Four is not bad, and immediately go back to this moment where Greyhound is just <laughs> running circles around it. Well, actually, um, all right, the Rifleman unfortunately up north couldn't get the munition point, but they've been doing a good job of capping everything else. Oh, uh, grenade. And he is cheap grenades, so it's not impacting his resources too much. 
but the tooth now is trying to retake mid. He has plenty of firepower to do so. Breakthrough tactics activated. Territory capture is prioritized. I like how Latuf is using Breakthrough for capturing on the flank to get some fast capping going. Yeah, no good play on his part. Enemy control. And also hiding behind the building to heal up his men as much as possible. Pretty good idea. More riflemen! More. More! Uh, we actually, no! I, would you want to go for riflemen right now? Would you want to get a bulldozer? I think you can get both. <laughs> yes, the resources in the bank since uh, uh, advanced yeah. logistics kicks in. So long as he doesn't take too much heavy losses, Q bundle grenade, uh, he should be able to afford it. You're right. Close. Yeah. He also has survival training, so he has an extremely tanky rifleman. Honestly, uh, chat, Latouf could unlock. Oh, there it goes. 180-700. Confirmation. We have 75 points remaining! Rare Tiger will hit like a brick, man. If he deploys it. He, he just needs 100 more manpower. Oh, he's, sto he's stopping the reinforcement. Greyhound continues to put pressure on that infantry. Bulldozers on the way. There goes the AT guns. Greyhound, run! Greyhound, man. Vet free. Unkillable. God damn. We got orders. 28 kills. And there it is. I guess. Please don't be bucked in. Please be Please. bucked in. That, that would be the funniest be thing hilarious. this tiger. Can't leave the base. Help. No, it, it's enough. There's enough space. Yep, I'm trapped. Sherman 105. Just starts blasting the tank depot or the bunker to break through. All right, but right now, uh, again, Kalsak is taking over, uh, has all three command points, you know, contested and should get them shortly. Mine's going down, good play. I think that's a smart choice. And there's the Tiger. But again, we still have three AT guns for Kalsak. So he has enough firepower to theoretically hold it back. He has no ammo though, sadly, or not enough ammo to spam ammo pissing rounds. Oh, we have a bulldozer. Comrade bulldozers on the field. <laughs> Tiger going after the Greyhound being like, no, he's mine. Man, Greyhound is way too fast. <laughs> and veterans are free. But all three AT guns now are lining up on the Tiger, but it does give, if he wants to, give small window with the Panzer Fork could be free. But he probably won't. Defend our victory point. The thing with AT guns against the Tiger, it can always backfire because if the Tiger gets the, the infamous triple one shots going on each AT gun, one shot, one AT gun down, might be yeah. might be dicey. Good, but luckily, again, one thing I will say is the AT guns are at the very least spread out. So even if that thing does like somehow manage to triple like shot them, it will take time for them to move rather than just all of them in, like on top of each other, which we've seen already today. And right. keep in mind, you can still unlock the uh, firebombing run. That's true. All right. AT guns are in range. You just need sight. Greyhound trying to provide that. But there is that pack gun there, lying in wait. Bulldozer are moving over as well. Shot bounce. You know, I like how the where the bulldozer is. It's in a good position to guard the, the AT guns' flanks. But I think that's where the grenadiers are put, moving into. They're they're gonna hit those AT guns from the side. I still have to stretch out how much I have like Cossack map awareness. He always has a squad on the flank camp camping. Otherwise, he would have been dead a long time ago. I agree. Uh, again, it's him consistently hanging south. Is been extremely helpful to keep himself in the game. 33 fuel, he can hold that. Rifleman, solid job. Bulldozer getting some good hits. Triple Rifleman up north, holding back the Panzer Grand here with the Greyhound support. AT gun just out of range. Need to move, move up a little bit to fight the Tiger. Enemy 
movement near victory point. AT guns are just out of range. They cannot hit the tie. Oh, there it goes. Bounce. Hit. Yes, that's curse. Victory point now under enemy control. Triple cap in the favor of Cossack. Enemy down to two. Oh, double cap. Repeat, two, Bulldozer five, forces zero. the grenadiers away. No. So no uh, capping the southern VP, but the, the AT gun in mid is a little open. Yeah, Don't it has to fall back. He may not be able to. Oh, Greyhound is coming over. He will oh, save his buddy, AT gun. You will not hurt my friend. A victory point has fallen into enemy control. Oh, walks right into the bulldozer. Strove trooping, that's not where you want to be. That, that's not fun. It's like a jump scare an alien. Oh, there goes the engineer though. It's like you think you're safe and another one turns the corner and kills you. Oh, Greyhound, no! Okay, he backs up. Tiger's out of position. I mean, he's gonna take a while for the Tiger to move up. AT guns moving up on the Panzer four. If they can spot it, AT guns can get double oh, that hit on might it. Be a That's an MP4. If it pens. It definitely Before pens. Before died without any impact. Tiger's going forward, but AT guns will be every position in no time. Another AT gun moving in, Rifleman as well. Tiger has to be very careful, because I, I think almost all the Riflemen have uh, Rint. Oh, no, no. He's doing a pour it on them. Some of them, I think, have Sprint. No, none of them have Sprint. What am I saying? I thought I saw some with Sprint, but maybe I'm thinking of an early game. It's all merging together at this point. Thanks for the raid. Much, much appreciated. Welcome to the 1v1 Cup, the Map Improvement Cup, hosted by the TR Clan. We are oh, in Hellcat. round two between Kazak and Latu. Tiger. On, and Salvo Ganova and Tigers. Tiger at zero impact. Tiger had less impact than the Panzer IV. Some said to be five Hellcats. Hellcat. I can't believe I'm saying this. The armor with the most impact this game is Greyhound. By a, a, by a mile. Yeah, the, the Greyhound is this. Why he's attack. going for mechanized call and he should go firebombing and nuke the AT guns with it. Uh, yeah. But like Greyhound is not, not that. Also, Palsack has yet to pick a battle group. And he's about to wipe a Grenadier if he's lucky! Enemy oh! Latouf is falling apart! How? He had this game! Latouf had this! Oh no. I cannot <laughs> believe this. <laughs> it was his, even his own nades, yeah, his own infiltration nades killed him. That's point. amazing. AT gun almost, almost kills the bulldozer. It is so low. Again, Latouf uh, is unable to kill it as the rifleman forced the pack guns away. Well, why would you throw those grenades that cost? I think it's like 30, right? Hold on. It's 45. 45 munitions, and you had two models in there. What were the you thinking? The enemy has taken a victory point. GG. What? It is over. Latouf uh, was dead. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. He, had, he was so fine. Obviously, you can argue that P4 choice was not good. Yeah. I... That... <laughs> Really great plays by Kyle Zach. He's I he like he was uh, he was on the edge of the cliff. He fell off the cliff, yet he climbed up the side and managed this the keep on. Like I I'm just I am shocked. That game for the longest time, Latouf <laughs> had it. Why you never give up, ladies and gentlemen? Why you never give up? Game number three between Kazakh and Latouf after an amazing game number two where Kazakh showed how to get things done. We are now on. San Marino Hill, we have the Gooseman as Wehrmacht with an AFK squad in his base. And what is yep. our dear friend Latouf doing? Latouf 
has called in the Aussies to come on in to save the day. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves the British forces coming on in. Probably as a Hail Mary, but still. The Australians have uh, are brought in to save Latouf uh, from losing it. Because, yeah, isn't Latouf down? Zero to two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Kozak is leading to zero. By the way, uh, Latouf literally has a foot, a single foot on the point able to cap it. That's how good he is. But anyway, we got Royal Engineers as well. Uh, again, Australian battle group, so lots of Australian forces coming on in. Better medium to long range. No AT grenades with them or any sort of AT ability, but very solid infantry nonetheless. Uh, especially when they get their upgrades. Just, again, you need something to help them out with the armor. Oh. But, uh... So wait, uh, what? So actually, have we? Uh, oh, let, no, never mind. Ignore that. No worries. We have Cossack going for Luftwaffe battle group. I assume he wants to get the cheaper reinforcement cost from the doctorate. The yeah. infantry reserves. No, that makes sense. That helped him last time. That I mean, truthfully, he took he didn't take a lot of losses, but he took a lot of. Not units per se, but it took a lot of model losses. Um, and yeah, that that going the American with the uh, support infantry and having 25% really helped. So in this case, if he gets it, he can do a lot. <laughs> he can he can absolutely do a lot with it. But uh, you shouldn't count out Latouf. He also has a special ability for cheaper stuff. In this case, cheaper resources. I don't think this man is going to build a cache, but they're so cheap. Why would it? 125, you? if I remember correctly. Yeah. 1v1, it's incredibly risky, but still, would love to see it. Especially because, uh, but <clears throat> in any capacity, Pioneers find runs and Run are like, wait, why can't we just get out of the building and get close? Oh, double grenadier against one Aussie. I think Aussie has to go home. Alright, he's gonna go home, but when he comes back, he's bringing a kangaroo. You're gonna wanna run. Alright. But yeah. For one player, there's no get to flashbacks. You mentioned the kangaroo. And the Brits in one sentence. Of course, of course. But thankfully, uh, we don't have this unit in Cold Free. Oh, that might be a dead Royal Engineer. Latouf is off to a bad start. That would be unfortunate if he nope. lost it that early. Kozak is not chasing anymore. Did just use his special. I saw that. Yeah, he did sharpshooter. But. Hmm. Didn't kill any models. Did very little health damage. But it, at least it scared away the Royal Engineer. Four Australian infantry. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean. Again, they can be very good. They can build all sorts of tank traps and defenses and all sorts of stuff. Not saying you can't, but yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, the, the thing is with the Aussies, at least my experience, which is really limited, they can bleed yeah. a lot if you don't use them correctly. But on yeah. the other hand, at least on paper, We can thing. get the cheap AT gun, the two pounder. So you can play an extended tier one and then call yeah. it the AT gun. And on, but on paper, I don't know how good that is. In, no, no, in the, the, I will. I'll defend the two pounder. I really like it. It's especially because uh, it's one, it's cheap, and two, it's it still has good penetrating power and good uh, fire rate overall. Like, it's better, and also it does have a special, which I must have mistaken, it is like extra penetration. No, it's a full stun, the, the two pounder. Oh, full stun. Insanely right. broken. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it's way too good for it. The yeah, a but it can, de but what, I've seen that, the reason why I say that is I've seen this thing just annoy tigers, the, for reference. So, yeah, it can definitely do a lot of work for its price point. More so than I would say like the original M for M42 for the Soviets had. That was kind of like that sort of same idea, like a cheaper AT gun. 
Yeah, but the, uh, the poo poo AT gun, as I like to call it, yeah, always like was either was at the beginning really bad, and then it got yes. better and better because they're like, okay, we increase rate of fire, we tune down the damage. So even due to the rate of fire, though you do ex roughly the same damage than is this gun in the same amount of time, penetration is a thing. So oh, after some time, it was decent, but at the beginning, it was really bad because it was just. An AT gun with bad penetration. We have infantry yeah. Australians no, you're not wrong in that regard. All right, let's see. We got flamethrower. We got five. Five. We're at that six. That two flanks is infantry, man. Oof. Okay. How much are there to reinforce? Actually, I don't know. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. As uh, the Australians force themselves in against the Grenadiers. Flamethrower is supporting. Uh, but. Yeah, I mean, they're actually. Oh, Run Engineer about to fall. That's a. Oh, Run Engineer might get wiped. Nope. Just got away with a nick of HP. Chat is screaming for sections. I'm waiting for armor. But we're not seeing that. We're actually seeing a sniper by Kyle Sack. Yeah, sniper. They should bleed the Aussies relatively well, but keep in mind, at Veteran C1, if I remember correctly, they get their sniper ability, right? And that, that always kills the model. You need to get close to it nonetheless, but still, I killed the sniper with that once. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, the, the, the Australians just keep hitting mines. Good job by uh, Kalsak for placing those all over the battlefield. But yeah, uh, reinforcing is 28 for the for each of those units, by the way. I did not more. I think infantry section also has 28, right? Uh, so they're then the, the same cost. Yeah. Kalsak is getting a Panzer Grenadier. Map control advantage for Latouf at the moment. With. The cutoff being in control, therefore no fuel income whatsoever for Kazakh. We're losing a yeah, that, that's that's kind of big, honestly. Uh, oh, there's the the two pounder. Okay, so at least he has AT on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, target weak point always penetrates armor. That's why I was like, does it always penetrate? Yeah, it always penetrates. Yeah, it always penetrates and it uh, makes a full stun, which is. Under enemy Fantastic. Alright. Victory point wise, again, Kalsak is the one that's taking a lot of hits. We saw before he's able to make turn it around. But uh, oh yeah, also I, I love all the the uh special defensive covers. Spe sorry, special uh the, the, the Sengar wall, essentially, that the the, uh, the Australian Lady can make. Point the sandbag with a fire in front of it. Exactly, it's it's great. All right. But uh, again, right now Latouf has a lot of fuel under his belt. He has he's 180 right now. Halsack, let's see. Did you get your upgrades? No. He just has three fuel per turn. That's it. Yeah, it will change though soon. Double Panzer Grenadier out. No infantry training, I think, from Latouf. Yeah, because he does not have platoon command post. I think Aussies desperately need uh, up infantry upgrade. Yeah, no, I, th I think right now getting that bonus would be extremely beneficial. Also, uh, chat, remember, these guys, uh, the Australians, don't get grenades or any sort of, like, um... Uh, what, how do I say this? They, yeah, they don't get any special. So, like, we're right now seeing a lot of the German players using mines and other things. Point. Not really seeing any of that or any upgrades going to Latoup's forces. Just really struggling in that department. Is ready. Yeah, two, two snow coming up, platoon command post, so we can't... Yeah, he can't get training if he has not tier now. 2, right? So Latoup is now getting tier 2. The yeah. He was expecting an LV. Ooh. That's why I think he got the two pounder, but since Kozak is playing also infantry heavy, there was no LV and the two pounder was a dead tech. Yeah. Uh Panzergrade here is gonna get that uh veterancy upgrade, by the way. So 
They will be able to, they will get boosted. And it, again, uh, oh, I think Latouf is upgrading. The, yeah, one of the Aussies is getting their scope rifles, but I mean, that's... A victory point is being overrun. That's it. He, he's just unfortunately not getting enough compared to the Kalsak, which is getting 67. And hold on, might be able to wipe one of the Australian line infantry. Yeah, Let's see. It's... He's not chasing though. Now he's chasing. A second birthday, how it looks like it for this one model. Yeah. The Cossack bundles are so on point so far. Last game as well. No, you're absolutely right. They, they, they've done a pretty good job when they've hit. Uh, okay. Looks like the the Australians actually had uh, using a detachment to head north. Playing through our pushes back to Panzergrad here. He's trying to cut it off. Maybe the cause more damage. I'm not sure. But now he's going for the victory point. Hits another mine. Oh boy. I think that's like the fifth unit I've seen today. That's uh, in this just in this game that has been hit by a mine. A great job by Kalzak for just finding yeah, the his mines are on point. He's bleeding a lot. That's the advantage of a Wehrmacht, right? If you don't have MP40s or tier two, you have so much ammo on you that you can spam mines like a madman. <laughs> nice. All right. No worry, Noob. On Nuposaurus. That's why we do check-ins. So people don't feel bad if they don't have time to play. They just don't check in and then it's it. And tournament organizer can then plan around that. Yeah. We're losing a fuel point. No vet training, you're right, chat. I can then do that later, Ra. Uh, this map is called San Marino Hills, but I can do that. I didn't thought about that actually. But chat, who needs vet training when you got a hover coming out at 12 humba, minutes? Humba, humba, ta -ta. Yeah, I... is in enemy control. There's a German children's song that Target goes humba, humba, the humba, ta -ta. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. and every time I see the fucking humber, I have to think about that song. <laughs> All right, that's fun. That's a, that's a fun jingle. <laughs> Just completely juxtaposition to a hover gunning down German forces. Well, hover is out really late, actually. Minute 13. There's double AT guns already on the way. We're yeah. losing a victory point to enemy action. Yeah, right now, Latouf is being pinned. Actually, kind of the creek being like a good, well, mostly. A good cutoff to where he's been able to go. He's slowly pouring in, grabbing the, uh, I guess the fuel and the uh, manpower point closer to his base. I'm telling you, chat. Latouf will kill the sniper once Ozzy hits veteran C2, then he will use the ability. Oh, great hit with the pack gun on that. Hamba right. gets away though. He does. I just heard a mine go off in the distance. I just know. Poor Aussies. Yeah, man. You, you can't play Royal Engineer with Flamer. You have to get the sweeper. If you don't have a sweeper, the verbal player will be like, okay, mines will be everywhere. And you will hey. bleed to death. What? Uh, The hover, I think, is going to die. Yeah, the sniper uh is scouting. The pack gun's there, and he decided to heal on... The side not in his base. Blast! A Humba armored car is gone. Well, how'd the song go? Humba, 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 Humba. Ooh, Cypher might be dead, but the mine saved today. Never mind saves today. Oh my god. One Still more shot is needed. Yes! Alright. Major Koenig did not make it home. Hey, but solid effort by the Australians. They may have lost their armored vehicle, but they at least they killed the sniper. Unfortunately, Kalsak now has the, the resources and just got infantry reserves. So, manpower is not as big as an issue for him now. 
Yeah, and he has tier 4 coming up, Panzer Com Company is coming up. By the way, chat, just an update. No, no veterans the upgrade yet. That hurts my soul, man. Brits without the upgrades, they're just... The mines, man. Latouf is not like, okay, I'd get the second engineer for a sweeper. <laughs> Oh, the, the, the mind damage, oh. especially. The engineer is already veterancy free by solely by mind kills. Grenadiers just gunned down one of the uh, light infantry units. So, I would say it's even, because uh, one of the Panzer Grenadiers again got gunned down, but like, I don't know. I feel like the Grenadiers have been so much more resourceful than the Australians. We'll see, maybe they can gun down this Grenadier here. Nope. <laughs> there are already multiple mines queued in the city. I love it. I I love it. Our opponent is in control of all victory points. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> What's funny is Latoop doesn't even have the munitions to get a minesweeper. <laughs> oh yeah, he's bleeding so much. I love it. Instead of going to there, he's gonna go through the houses <laughs> to get to it, and there's a mine there. <laughs> he's still gonna hit the mine. <laughs> oh, Latouf must hate his life. <laughs> I, chat. I'm gonna be honest. If you place a mine, it explodes, and then you place another mine on top of where the mine was. It's the same faction. Plus, huge plus in my book. Yeah, man. Plus one respect. <laughs> well, Brumbers on the way, and Brumbear will uh, end this game. Yeah. Oh, there's another. <laughs> that two runs on the front line hits the mine has to retreat. <laughs> because I guess not even fighting any squads. He's We're just. Losing a point to He's, <laughs> He's losing all of his men to high explosives. It's perfect. Don't spoil directly. God damn it. <laughs> I think we will increase the tournament frequency now from now on. Victory point is in enemy hands. Uh well, at least that's what I'm planning. It's always know. about funding. Infantry but I will figure out the way down the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like most tech Target. industries. Yeah, we'll do this. What, what, what about funding? What about funding? Okay. Well, uh, Brumbar, uh, there really is not much the Brits can do against it. I love the two-pounder, but this thing is not... There's no way the two-pounder can first pen this thing. And even if it did, it's not doing all that much damage. I don't know how to delete messages. Do I de how do I delete messages on Twitch only without banning the folk? It's simple. Left. You just click on it. Yep. And uh, you know what? You just put the man in timeout. There you go. Give him a timeout. Give it. I will timeout directly, and then I will immediately remove the timeout. Then the message is gone, and <laughs> no one was hurt. Two pounder fires immediately bounces. Bounce. Okay, we're Fire again, men! Oh, oh it actually there. pent? I pent again. Pent twice? Never mind, two pounder. Two pounder! Three times in a row? But no, it's it. Never mind, just get two T guns, chat. You can easily take on a Brumbar. What am I saying? Nah, he has to put the 17 pounder on wheels. Oh, and tricks. The archer. Oh! Oh, that baby's gonna pen. Let's go. Rumbar's like, oh, I made a mistake. If they keep sight, Rumbar might be dead. Oh. We've 25 points left. All right, Latouf, just end this game with a. Latouf got GP. He has no VPs left. He wants to embrace the Carlin. Brace yourselves. The archer's not a bad uh, 
call it. It's I really like the archer. It's a really good tank destroyer. Yeah. Doesn't have a lot of health, but by God, can do a beating. So, uh, with that win, Ovadi, what does that mean for Latouf? Latouf is out. 3-0 for Kozak. Better luck next time. But nonetheless. Still, pretty good game. I, I like the Brit. I like the Australian attempt. But, yeah, I just don't think all Australian light infantry was the call. Um, I, I just... I, I just don't think they, they scaled or did very well against the Panzer Grenadiers and Grenadiers across the map. They're good. They He just needs something a little better. Or get, or holding the munitions to get the resources to upgrade himself or to get veteran C1 upgrade, right? The, the infantry bonus. Or, you know, stuff like that might have helped push him above. But definitely not allowing Palsac to get the mine or get the munitions for mines and then having Latouf just constantly lose men to vines. Hello everyone, this is GreyShot117, and before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters, Joey G240, Malab, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B 95 Epic Pleb, thank you all for your incredible support in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.